These trends is proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance, Leap Tomato Paste. Hello, Bill Gates once said it is fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of Fenwa. Welcome to Bee Strength TV show. My name is Enyonam K. Makwanda. This is the Link Up edition. My hairdo is by Sam's Place. Uh, you can follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Sam's Place. My costume is by Impressive Design. This show is proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance and Leap to Manto Paste. Tonight, we are discussing entrepreneurship 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 we are talking real estate we are talking about production we are talking about banking we are talking about anything that you can think of all the sectors today my resource person is in all of these sectors and is going to enlighten us about how to venture into all this line of businesses <music> Reverend Dr. Abiyam Dansun has founded, developed, and sustained several businesses across industries and sectors in Ghana and the United Kingdom. This impressive business portfolio includes ventures in real estate, academia, healthcare, media and entertainment, philanthropy, and outreach programs. He is highly experienced in varied industries such as construction and agriculture. Reverend Abiyam Danso is the chairman of Abiyam Group of Companies. Tomato paste is better the area then. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Aha! This is what I call a journey. <laughs> Secret nani L E A P leap. Same one when you leap tomato paste a journey there. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer so. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and a fee and fee. For bulk purchase, contact 033-209-5314 or 050-141085. Welcome to the all-new segment of Be Strength TV show, Be Sam. In this new addition to the show, we will give you a peek into all the upcoming business seminars, summit, and product launch in and around the city. We will furnish you with all the details of the impending programs from the time to the venue and a short clip detailing the speakers of all the event as well as what you would require to participate in that event. To get details of your forthcoming forums, summit and product launch ad on B Strength TV show, please contact us on 0554 830 so viewers, guess who I'm hanging out with today on B Strength TV show? Reverend Dr. Abiyam Danso Ampuma. He's the chairman for Abiyam Group of Companies. Reverend, thank you so much thank you for joining too. us on B Strength. Thank you. Meeting you today is like a testimony. Wow. Yes, because I always follow you on Facebook, watch your live uh, feed when you're doing your transmission and all mm -hmm. that. But I've always been praying, where do I get to meet this man? Wow. And I just want to thank God. So I want to start from the passion, the spirit, the, the power to establish this line of businesses. You have this uh, slogan, or I, uh, let me say, writers who have written about you say, one man with many businesses. Tell me about this uh, passion or this journey of venturing into all this line of businesses. Honestly, um, my beginning was no good. Um, you can call it struggle. And then I also saw um, my environment. I saw a lot of them 
who are trying to uh, survive in life. You know, we came to meet the 80s, the 70s, how Ghana was in recession. And so in those days, uh, you could realize that poverty was rampant and everybody is looking for a job at least to be able to have uh, meat on the table. Um, during that process of time, my mother was poor and we were living in one of the Asian towns in uh, Ashanti region called, uh, the town was called Kumawu. Um, that place, they used to, um, mostly they, most of the people used to farm okay. uh, tomatoes. Right. And any time the tomatoes comes, because they had no machines to be able to make it tomatoes paste and all that, it would just rot, it goes, it goes to waste. So as young as I was, although I, was, uh, I wasn't good in academics, um, somehow my thought was one day I will move away from that place and go and make sure I come back with a solution. You know, to that problem. To that problem. And you, you are talking about when I was about nine years. And, and that, that thought years. was there. You know, and um, it didn't happen, you know, because I end up alone at the age of 13 in Volta region, you know, selling ice kinky and all that. I see. You know, and then I found myself um, when I was uh, 14 in Kaneshi overhead bridge, sleeping there alone, no mother, no father, you know. And then, you know, when you are within Kaneshi, you could see people, everybody's trying to work, exactly. get something out and of their work. You know, so. those who are stealing are yes. stealing, who are, you know, selling are selling. Yes. So during those times, although uh, nobody was actually teaching me anything, I was learning what was, you know, around me, you know. And then also, let's face the reality. Now our population is 30 million. Uh, 30 million is only 2 million that are working. And the government, any government that comes who promise of Love job creation. creation and all that, which is a lie, mm -hmm. because the government cannot create jobs. Um, all they can do is to supervise and to give Private us investors. that's the thing supervise um, the nation um, whatever is going on in terms of um, our institutions uh, law that governs the institutions and you know making sure that um, each and everyone is working you know I, I believe that the individuals are the ones that are supposed to create jobs um, and so to me I am doing my part okay. as a good citizen. Right. And so that's why I'm not giving up at all. Right, right, right. Doctor, as an entrepreneur, you have a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't only run your business here in Ghana, but also overseas. Yeah. Now, what do you make of the business environment we have here in Ghana, especially for the startups? Um, <laughs> in reality, um, when like for instance, I will, let me use like Britain. Um, the government is focusing on the people, right. not their own pocket. Okay. And there has been a setup that protects um, individuals and also um, institutes. Institutes have say and individuals also have a say. It's the, 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 the policies are set up for each and everyone to work. And if you don't work, there is a consequence. But when you come to Ghana, the greediness, laziness, um, quick to get money, um, bitterness and wickedness are in the system. I wouldn't say the government. The government can't do much. Honestly, I believe that 80% of why businesses are not flourishing in this country is the individuals. I see. 
Yeah. It's, uh, it has nothing to do with the government. Um, how many people that makes a government? You understand? Just a handful. That's the point. But let's say this. When I am an MP and I want to be... Uh, I want to be an MP in your area and I can give you kinky and fish and you vote for me. That alone tells you that the person who is bribing you with kinky and fish is a thief when he goes up there. He is, to he's going to society. steal. I you see. understand? Right. Um, that, that is the problem. And so the people's concept, their mindset is really bad. We have people, when they come, they are looking for a job. As soon as you give them the job, they are prepared to steal. When they steal, there's nothing you can do to them. No. You understand? Can you fire them? You fire them. Or you overlook? Uh, you know, I see. And, and they are so loyal to their colleagues okay. than the vision, or let's say, the, the institution that they are working with. Reverend, I watched a video where you made mention that there are a lot of universities, mm -hmm. but when it comes to Abiyam Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. you instill in the student the spirit of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing the interview today. Viewers <laughs> are still chatting with the chairman for Abiyam Group of Companies, Reverend Dr. Abiyam Danso Ampuma. And it's time for us to invite on set Fatima Ibrahim. She is the SME person who sent us a message that she would want to hang out with Dr. Today on the show. She is the CEO for Nizel Creation and you are going to see the wonderful things she's using her hand to do back in Kumasi. I'm sure she's here to chat with Dr. to get to know how she could transcend this beyond the borders of Ghana to market this product. So let's take a brief look at the profile of Fatima. And when we come back, she'll join us on set. Stick and stay with back. Fatima Ibrahim holds diploma in education from University of Education Winneba and degree in Integrated Rural Act and Industry from KNUSD. She's pursuing her MPhil in Art Education at KNUST. Fatima Ibrahim is a consultant for Rural Enterprise and CEO of Nize Creations. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Ah! Aha! This is what I call a journey. Secret nani L E A P leap. Some one when him say leap tomato paste they do an idea. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer so. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and if you fee. For bulk purchase, contact 033-209-5314 or 050-141085. Welcome to the all new segment of B Strength TV show, B7. In this new addition to the show. We will give you a peek into all the upcoming business seminars, summit, and product launch in and around the city. We will furnish you with all the details of the impending programs from the time to the venue and a short clip detailing the speakers of all the events as well as what you would require to participate in that event. To get details of your forthcoming forums, summit, and product launch ad on B Strength TV show, Please contact us on 
Welcome back viewers, so you are still watching Beast Trends TV show. I'm Enyo Namke Makwanda and this is the link up edition, the segment where we give opportunity to SME CEOs who are doing wonderfully well in their line of business to talk about their businesses to the business mogul, the business giant and then he gets to use his strategic eyes, marketing skills, branding wise to evaluate whether or not she's in line. So here on set with me is Fatima Ibrahim. She is the CEO of Nizil Creations and she's here to hang out with Dr. Abiyam. Fatima, welcome. Thank you. All the way from Kumansi. Yes. Yes. So you met Dr. Abiyam. Thank you. You too. <laughs> yeah, so doctor, this is Fatima. And she sent us a message that she wanted to hang out with you because she's read about you and she wouldn't miss the opportunity meeting you. So Fatima, let's hear about your business and all the questions you have for doctor. Okay. Neizi is a product that is solely into handmade products. I learned this from KNUST. The course is integrated rural and industry and after school, uh, finding a job was quite difficult, so I decided to be my own boss. We're being taught the basis of making bags and slippers in school, but I, then I had a passion for what I learned in school, and I decided to expand it more by having more research, doing more research on it, and I decided to come out with different patterns. At the moment, I'm doing my MPhil in arts education, and I'm still doing my thesis on the, how to come up with different patterns in weaving this product. Right, so what do you want to learn from Dr. Hazel? all yes. Yes. So I guess this is some of the products, right? Yes. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I mean, I, I, mean I, I was surprised to see her bring this. I, I, I have to buy one before. <laughs> I don't know this machine, but she's saying it's a handmade. Yes. I see. Wow. That's beautiful. Yes. So let's hear from you. Doctor, it's nice meeting you. Thank you. And I'm glad I've been able to meet you in person. Oh. And you're very nice and cordial, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're um, I read a little bit about you, and, and I've been seeing you on TV, having interviews and the rest. And I realized you are, say, a big mongo in <laughs> entrepreneurship, if I should say. And then I... And I also read about how you also started very little, small at the beginnings, and you are rising, and with God, you are also pushing and going further. And about my, uh, my product, it's now in the market, even though it's not too known, unlike the beads. People see it and they think it, they are beaded works, mm. but they are not. I learned it from the university, so the part I want to play is to make it known out there, not only in Ghana, but outside Ghana too. And since you are an entrepreneur, I was thinking you could help or guide me in ways by which I could across. send it. I see. Okay. I, I, I think it's a deal. Um, um, I will even buy one or two to, to take it um, if I'm going to London um, this week. I like the finishing. Um, sometimes we have a problem in Ghana of when we're doing something, our finishing sometimes is not that you know profession, uh, professional but looking at this one there is nothing you see that is wrong everything is um, unique you know so i for me i think you are there you know and you've not started in a small way it's big you know it's really big and i i pray that uh, god will help us to be able to push these are the things that the government must support mm -hmm. so that we can be able to uh, break forth. Right. So I think this is it's an good. awesome work. It's good. But also, I wanted to ask something. Um, you know, this is her product, handmade. Mm. The finishing, you said you like it. Mm. But if, I, if you should take this to London and somebody says it and asks you, Doctor, where did you get this from? You say about from Ghana. How will the person be able to trace? As if the person wants to trace Fatima directly. I'm a businessman. You know, that's a tad. I, I, I was thinking if she could get some identity, you know, on it to make uh, it. It's for it's for my good. I think I I don't know why Fatima had not put tag on right. there, um, but I think that if I go and somebody wants it, 
I know what I'm trying to, I'm going to do. Okay. And so first of all, I'm going to show it to my family. Okay. Um, I'm not a girl, so um, I'm going to show it to the girls. They will be able to tell me as exact yeah. what is, you know, I, I, I wouldn't like, not because I have made it in something, mm -hmm. um, it's likely that I can make it in this, okay. but I'm going to give it to somebody, women, my wife, those who actually are into bags, mm -hmm. and then they can advise me if it is good, okay. you know, okay. in that sense. But I mean, you are a woman, so <laughs> you can attest. Right, but do you think this is worth investing into? Would you advise an investor to invest in this, this kind of business? You see, any product that women, you know, participate much is a great one. Honestly. Hallelujah. <laughs> Honestly, any product that women, I mean, when you are creating a product and you have the youth with you and you have women with you, forget about the men. Okay. You are there. Okay. You know, when men also add themselves, it's a bonus. Okay. You know, so uh, for me, I think Fatima um, is focusing on the women now. And um, gradually we'll get to the yeah. the man. I see. Yeah. Any question? Thanks. You have any question again? No. You are fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with the advice and the encouragement. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, doctor, I also want to know, IBM Productions. You've already produced a movie. Yeah. Okay. Series and right. movies. Yeah. And then IBM Institute. We even won an award. In um, Ghana, right. uh, the, the movie awards, I don't know the name, though. and then in Nigeria, okay. um, is this, I, I forgot the name, but we have all the, I see. yeah. Right. So doctor, I'll come back for you to mm. tell me how you were blending mm. ministry and business. But before then, viewers, you're still watching B-Strands TV show. And up next is the Vanguard Assurance Titbit. Take a look at that. We're back to continue the conversation. Stay and stay. Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips. Brought to you by Vanguard Assurance. Uh, we have designed the Vanguard Home Insurance and the Digital Fire for commercial places. The home insurance for households and basically what this thing does is that during the rainy seasons like this when you sign on on our vanguard happy home your house is protected when it's damaged by flood the contents are protected so once you are on this during this period you know that when something goes wrong the vanguard will offer compensation in the same similar vein the digital fire that we've been talking about it's not only fire, there's also a flood component in there. So any damage caused during this season by the, the flood aspect will be covered by Vanguard Assurance. So the wisest things that we should do during this period is to talk to Vanguard Assurance and get protected. The six-time Hall of Fame insurer whose goal is to rewrite insurance and make sure that compositions are paid speedily will come to your aid. Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips, brought to you by Vanguard Assurance. Fire. Hello sir, this is Vanguard Assurance. We just got a notification of a fire outbreak at your premises. I want to assure you that the fire service has been notified and the Vanguard team has been dispatched and they'll be at your premises soon. Thank you, sir. With the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance, you need not to worry about getting a fire report. Vanguard will facilitate the processing of the fire report and speed up your claim process. No need for you to chase any fire report or fill any form to initiate your claim. Switch to the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance now. It's digital, it's fast, and very convenient. Vanguard Assurance, Sith Time CIMG Hall of Fame Insurer.
Welcome back. That was the Vanguard Assurance Bit. This show is proudly brought to you by Leap Tomato Paste and Vanguard Assurance. My name is Enyonam K. Makwanda. This is the Link Up Edition B Strange TV Show. Doctor, before I went on the break, I was asking how do you blend ministry and business? Honest, honestly, um, business is ministry. Um, it's one, it's not two. And it's life. You know, I, when you say business, it's like you're trying to make it more professional, you know, as so to speak. But um, me being um, a Christian, it, there's nothing to, like, um, how do I put it? A Muslim and a Christian, we are all the same, all right? Um, I can be a Christian and you may be a Christian and our understanding may not be the same. It's the same as a Muslim don't understand some things about Christians. So we can be in one Pentecost church and both of us don't understand ourselves. You know, come from the same family and we don't understand ourselves. But um, when it comes to human, um, the best I can do as a, a human being is do the assignment given to me by God and making sure my assignment is done accordingly to affect my generations and have a good name. And one day when I'm no longer there, the name will still be in existence. So there's no battle. Right. It's easy. easy. By the grace of God. Amen. <laughs> Oh, Doctor, it's so nice speaking to you. But before we wrap up, I want to give you the platform to advise young entrepreneurs like Fatima, who had the opportunity to meet you today. The others who are not here, please speak to them, advise them, tell them how to grow business from zero to get to that point they are looking at. Aspiring to be like you is not just easy. It doesn't mm. come cheap. Mm. But how do you make it work? You know, I've been real to you, and um, I want to be real to Fatima. Um, the thing is this. You will hear people say that believe in yourself and all that. It's a lie. It's a lie. Um, anyone who believes in himself or herself is proud. The person becomes proud, you know. But honestly, we were not created to believe in ourselves, but believe in somebody. Like the way I saw you and I saw what you can do, somehow I believe that you can do it. But it's not easy for me to believe in what I can do. So most of the times, get around the people who believe in you that can encourage you to do more. But if you are wasting time to believe in yourself, I'm telling you it's not going to happen. Not at all. And then also do not compete. You see, a complete people do not compete. As long as you are complete, well, you, 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 you can never be complete, you know. Those who are not complete are the ones that compete. Right. So be yourself. And then be prepared for mistakes. Mistakes will come. Um, but mistake plus correction to change equals to growth. So when you make a mistake, be around those people who will correct you and be ready to be corrected and then change out of your you know mistake and then you grow and so never give up press on and then you cannot be the only person that will do this you need a group of people you can never make it alone you know somebody say, don't mind anybody i mean you can do it yourself is a lie is a lie it you is need ne you need a team yeah. so in all that you're doing as a youth one of the things you have to focus is by making sure you get the right team who believes in you, that you can impact, that you can, you know, uh, 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 make them you. That, that's all, you know. And don't be worried about critics. You know, accusers will be in existence because they are devils. And you know what devils do? They just don't want you to fulfill your mission. And so... Yes, make your mind as if you are dead. Reverend, before we go, we didn't come here empty-handed. Of wow. course, we won't bring all these things and not give you one. So on behalf wow. of Nezel Creations and Beastrans, this is for you. My God. Yes. 
Thank wow. you. God bless you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on the show. And viewers, this is Be Strength TV show. My name is Ejanam K. Makwanda, and we hang out today with Dr. Abiyam Danso Ampuma, the chairman for Abiyam Group of Companies, and then Fatima. Ibrahim, <laughs> the CEO for Nizé Creations, and this is uh, some of the beautiful things you do. You can follow up. What are your handles? Yeah, Nizé Creations on Facebook and Nizé Creations on Instagram. Right. So follow her. Place order for any of those beautiful uh, works you see here. It's not expensive. It's it's affordable. How much? <laughs> One fifty. One fifty. Yeah. So mm -hmm. very affordable. And hey, if your daughter is out there. Your son is out there looking for an institution that it can impact the entrepreneur's spirit in them. The only school I recommend is Abiyam Institute of Technology. Real estate-wise, you're looking for buying a property, come to Abiyam Real Estate. Banking, they are there. They have got tailor-made product for Heritage. you. <laughs> they have got lots of tailor-made product for you. And the production, if you want to shoot your TV show, whatever it is, just come to them and they'll help you out with production. So this is where I wrap up on today's program. My name is Nyanam K. Makwanda. My makeup and hairdo is by Sam's Place. She's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And this show is proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance and Leave to Man to Paste. Until next week, I'll come your way again with another powerful entrepreneur making a difference in the lives of a lot of people to empower you, enlighten you. And if you're an SME out there, Hoping to be on the show, all you have to do is to follow our Facebook page, Be Strength TV Show, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Send us your details and we will get in touch with you. Until then, it's a bye. Thank you so much, Doctor. God bless you. We are Thank very you. grateful for hanging out with us. Bye bye. <laughs>